Hey everyone, Kaylee here with this incredible side updo. This is inspired by the amazing hair and makeup by Steph. You have definitely seen her work all over the internet. She does amazing updos and this is no exception. So I'm going to break it down a little bit easier than the original hairstyle and hopefully it will be replicatable for you guys. So first of all, you want to section your hair. You need a side part and then you're going to part around that side part about two inches around and then go ahead and separate that and clip it out of the way. Now I'm going to add extensions, you don't have to, it's just going to add some volume to that ponytail. So if you have extensions and want to use them, you can go ahead and separate your hair from the ears up and clip in one weft here if you want, and then you can clip in more wefts below this point if you want to do that as well. Then let your hair down so that it covers it. And then additionally, you can take a small section from the back center of your head and braid it to create kind of a braided rat's tail almost. And then you're gonna secure that then take an extension and wrap it diagonally around, kind of creating almost a spiral staircase around this braid, and clip it in on either side. And you can use more than one weft if you want. And this creates a really great natural looking fall, so it looks like a ponytail, but it's much more voluminous and has more length. So now let's work on sweeping the hair over to one side. You're gonna start on the far side of the nape of your neck, and wrap that hair away from your face on a curling iron. This creates a really nice bend to the hair so that it looks nice when we pin it back. You're going to loop that back into this great curled shape and pin it in place about the height of your ears. Then take a similar section right next to that one, wrap it around the curling iron again, and we're going to create the same thing. So you're going to take the hair and you're going to kind of create this arced loop shape, place it right next to the previous section, and then pin that in place. And you can crisscross your pins within this to hold it very securely. Then take one last section from the side of the nape of your neck curl it and then create that great looped shape and pin it against the sections that we've already pinned. And now we're moving on to the front. So you're going to take basically from your ears up, you're going to take that section and you're going to curl that away from your face. Then once you have that curled nicely away from your face, you're going to take that section and you're going to give it a light twist just to make it pop and stand out against the rest of your hair. And then just place that twist right against the sections that we've already pinned. Now if you have side bangs or normal bangs, you're just going to leave them out of this entire thing so that they can hang forward during the style. But I don't have those so I'm not doing that clearly. But once you've got that placed against the sections that we've already pinned, you're just going to pin that in place. And then we are done with sweeping the hair over to the side. And this is what it's going to look like, just so you can kind of stop and see if your hair is looking about right at this point. So now we move on to the fun part, which is pin curls. So basically you're gonna go ahead and take that section that we clipped up down and divide it into three equal sections, basically one on each side and one in the back. And then we're gonna do the pin curls. And I'm gonna simplify this a little bit from a traditional pin curl so that it's a tiny bit easier to do on yourself than a traditional pin curl. Starting with the side over your ponytail, we're gonna curl that clockwise or toward your face. And then that basically gives our hair the bend that it needs to create a really great pin curl. You can also spritz it with a little bit of hairspray before performing the next step if you have any flyaways that you're worried about. Sweep your hair over right over where it needs to be for the pin curl, and then wrap it around two fingers to create kind of a faux pin curl. Then you're going to place that little donut shape that we just made by wrapping our hair around our fingers, and go ahead and place that donut shape against the nearest end of the twist that we made earlier, and then you're just going to pin that in place. I used two bobby pins for each of these pin curls, and then additional ones for any flyaways that popped up. Then you're going to move on to your next section and you're going to create an angle that's going toward your face and then you're going to actually curl it away from your face or counterclockwise. So then you're going to take your fingers and wrap your hair around them in the same direction that we curled it. Place that right next to the previous pin curl that we just did. And when you pin, what I like to think about is my bobby pin is basically like a little shark's mouth and it takes a bite from the bottom of the pin curl and the hair that's just underneath it. That way it doesn't end up popping out on top of the pin curls or anything like that. So then we're going to move on to the last section which is also curled counterclockwise and then placed right against the one that we did before. Now the biggest advice that I can give you about these pin curls is to practice them beforehand because the amount of hair that you need for these is going to differ depending on how much hair you have, the thickness of your hair, and how long your hair is. So you want to practice them a couple times beforehand so you can decide the ideal amount of hair to clip up for these pin curls. That way you don't get to this point of the hairstyle and realize that you either have too much or too little hair because that would be a huge bummer. But that is it for this section. So we're going to move on to the final step which is to curl the ponytail. Now I'm curling these going away from my face and then I am wrapping them around two fingers like we did for the pin curl and then clipping them back up. Now you guys have seen me do this before in my tutorials and you know that it makes the curl stronger and makes it pop a little bit more. So that way you have a nice tight curl right around the top of your ponytail. 
But what I'm doing for the bottom section of my ponytail is actually to curl these pieces and then let them fall. The reason that I do that is because those curls are going to be looser, which means that that hair is going to be just a tiny bit longer, so it adds a little bit of length. So basically you have the top of the ponytail adding volume and curl and the bottom of the ponytail adding length. Once all that's cool, you can go ahead and take those clips out and let your hair down and just lightly run your fingers through them to break the curls up just a little bit. And guess what? You're done. So this seems really hard, but it's basically just creating that twist and creating those pin curls, then curling the ponytail. That's basically it. You just want to practice it so that you make it perfect, but I think it's totally doable and absolutely beautiful. If you want something a little simpler, I uploaded this prompt tutorial earlier this week and you can definitely check that out. And that's it guys, I love you very much, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!